And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready? Ski dance over the lightning round. Let's we'll start with Linda in Georgia. Linda. Yes, from Astos, Georgia, home of the Georgia Bulldogs. I have, oh my, yeah, Athens. I mean, it's like Greece, but it's Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, and I think half of the Eagles are from the University of Georgia. But yes, anyway, we've got a great line, defensive lineman, and then we got it right in the middle. Let's go on. What's going on? Okay, I would like to know about Moderna. I bought it, uh, I think last year, about at a high point, and it has done nothing but go down, and it, it goes up a little bit, almost hits 200, maybe 190, and it starts going back. So I am just wondering what to do with it. Well, Linda, you are so right. A lot of people are tired of it. It's a very expensive stock. I have faith in, St in Stephane Van Cell. I think he's remarkable, and I think that we saw something great for the pandemic, but there's much more ahead, and I think you should buy more. Let's go to Dave in Illinois. Dave! Dr. Kramer, my mad phosphoro friend, how bullish are you on your eagles? Well, it's, it's hard to not be. I mean, I like Kelsey. Oh, two guys. Good. So what's up, Dave? After a crash and burn on my last lightning round stock, I'm trying to redeem myself now with Okta. Jim, your thoughts? Okay, a lot of these enterprise software companies, this is obviously cybersecurity, starting to have a couple of days that are good. Cloudflare was good, and Alteryx was good, and I think that Okta's come down enough. I don't like the ones that are losing money. If he would just pivot, if he would just pivot, then I think that you'd find ourselves in a great situation, Todd. Uh, but right now, he's got to pivot first. I mean, pivot going from loss in high growth to a little less growth and profits. Come on, Todd McKinnon. Let's go to Colin in Michigan. Colin. Hey, booyah, Jim Kramer. Booyah. I'm calling about a company It makes things, does stuff, returns some of that money to shareholders. It's had a pretty good run last year, and I'm wondering if I should add to this position or if I should cut my uh, winnings and move on to something else. The company is M Corp. M Corp, boy, does that ever make things do stuff and turn money. He's got it so right. That's my kind of stock. What can I say? Very profitable company. Sells at 18 times earnings. Maybe to let it go to 17 and then buy more. But, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Thank you. Let's go to Lori in Connecticut. Lori. Hi, Jim. I'm a charter member of the Investing Club. and um, Thank you. I so appreciate your uh, tremendous energy and uh, dedication. A lot uh, more to come. A lot more to come, yeah. Lori. Great. I'm, I'm wondering what you think about Hess. I like Hess okay. I mean, if you want to play the majors, I would actually rather see in Chevron with that big buyback and they're doing quite well. Hess is okay. Chevron's better. We're not done. Let's go to Irene in New York. Irene! Hi, Jim. I just want to thank you first for all your good advice. I oh, you thank stuff. you, Irene. Do my best. Do my best. What's up? My stock has a high yield, and it's tax exempt, and it's Alliance Bernstein. What's your call? Okay, very tough business right now, the broker's business. Uh, and so I am not going to say. No, no, I will. This thing's at 13 times earnings, and I think business is going to get better. I said that last night about SVB. I will say that about Alliance Bursting. I think you possibly have a winner. Please don't buy all at once, though. But I'm changing my mind about that stock because of what I said last night on SVB. I need to go to Greg in Nevada. Greg! Hey, Jim. I'm feeling pretty positive hey. over here about the Eagles Super Bowl on Sunday. My question I have is, to hope so. I know. My question is, do we feel as positive as we do about semiconductor FEM. You know what? I think that it just had a huge run. It feels a lot like the Chiefs. I think it's peaked already. What can I say? It's very Chief-like. I'm sorry. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Coming up, what's there to learn from two bankable CEOs about corporate governance? Iger, Benioff, and your investments, next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? 
Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.